Imagine a summer, the heart of warmth, light, and abundance that never came. A year when the sun failed to shine, crops withered in fields, and winter seemed to linger on endlessly. This wasn't some distant dystopian future. It was 1816, and it was known as the year without summer. But what caused this devastating anomaly? Could it have been something natural or something else entirely? Let's dive into the mystery of what caused one of the most bizarre climate events in recorded history. And if you're a fan of historical mysteries like this, click that subscribe button to keep up with our future releases. 1816, a year where the usual warmth of summer was replaced with unseasonably cold temperatures, was felt all around the world, though the effects were most severe in the Northern Hemisphere. In North America, temperatures dropped sharply. The summer months of June, July, and August felt more like early spring or late fall. Snowstorms and frosts ravaged crops, particularly in New England and parts of the northeastern United States. In Europe, the effects were also devastating. France, Germany, and Switzerland all experienced cooler than average temperatures, leading to crop failures and famine. Even Ireland, which had already been struggling with potato crop failures, saw an additional blow as frost in June and July destroyed its fields. But why did weather patterns suddenly shift so dramatically? Was it the result of some cosmic anomaly or something more terrestrial? One theory the most widely accepted by scientists today points to a massive volcanic eruption, specifically the eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia. On April 10, 1815, Mount Tambora unleashed one of the most powerful eruptions in recorded history. The eruption spewed tons of ash, sulfur dioxide, and other particles into the atmosphere, sending a huge plume of volcanic debris into the stratosphere. This ash cloud was so large that it circled the globe, blocking sunlight and creating what's known as a volcanic winter. This thick layer of ash and sulfur particles reflected sunlight away from Earth, cooling the surface temperature by as much as 3 degrees Celsius in some regions. This wasn't just a short-term weather event, it was a global disruption, causing widespread crop failures and famines. But just how bad were the effects on global weather? The aftermath of Mount Tambora's eruption didn't just affect the year 1815, but it also set the stage for the devastating events of 1816. Across North America, Europe, and Asia, the summer months were marked by unseasonably cold temperatures. The frosts were so severe that they destroyed crops, particularly in New England and parts of Canada, where frosts in June and July wiped out entire harvests. The cool temperatures and snow kept farmers from planting crops, leading to starvation and food shortages. Panic spread as people faced the reality of failed harvests and food riots. The economic impacts were far-reaching, and many countries faced social unrest, as people struggled to survive in the face of a collapsing food supply. But was Mount Tambora's eruption the only factor? Could there have been other influences that compounded the already fragile climate? While Mount Tambora is the primary suspect in causing the year without summer, it wasn't the only eruption that may have had an impact on the global climate. Just one year earlier in 1814, another eruption, Mount Fuji in Japan, was reported to have sent ash into the atmosphere. And while its impact may not have been as severe as Tambora's, it could have contributed to the overall cooling trend. The eruptions of other smaller volcanoes in the same period, including Mount St. Helens in North America, also added to the cumulative global cooling effect. With multiple eruptions, the Earth was bombarded with particles that continued to block sunlight. These chemical particles lingered in the atmosphere for months, some even years, creating a cooling effect that cascaded into the subsequent year. People living in 1816 felt the immediate and harsh effects of the year without summer. A chill lingered, not just in the weather, but in the collective mood of a world struggling to understand this unusual climate. 
There were reports of people walking through snowstorms in June in New England. The long cold summer led to a widespread sense of panic as entire regions faced crops failing and starvation. The colder than usual weather continued well into the fall. In some regions, it felt like winter never ended and food prices soared as harvests failed. In Europe, the poverty and hunger became widespread. People were forced to rely on government aid and many resorted to raids and protests. As food became scarcer, tensions rose and soon it wasn't just a natural disaster, but a social and political crisis. But as the world suffered through these difficult conditions, could there have been something even more insidious at play than just volcanic eruptions? Some theories, while more mysterious, still persist. Could the year without summer have been caused by something else? Some suggested that the sudden cold snap might have been the result of cosmic forces, such as an impact from a comet or a solar flare. However, scientific evidence for those claims remains lacking. Others believe that the sudden climate shift could have been part of a larger divine or mystical event, with apocalyptic tones resonating through the records of the time. People who lived through the year without summer had no answers for why the world's climate seemed to turn against them. They could only hold on to their survival instincts and try to make it through a year of endless cold. But in the end, Mount Tambora's eruption remains the most widely accepted cause for this chilling year. A year that left its mark not only in the history of weather events, but in the collective memory of a world grappling with the unexpected consequences of nature's raw power. Though 1816's Year Without Summer is a fascinating chapter in history, it's also a reminder of the powerful forces of nature and how quickly they can disrupt life on Earth. Today we live with climate challenges but the story of this mysterious year is a reminder that the Earth's climate is far from predictable, and even the most advanced societies can be at the mercy of nature's whims. The volcanic eruption of Mount Tambora served as a humbling lesson that sometimes it's the most unlikely events hidden deep within the Earth that can shape the course of history. The year that was meant to be a season of warmth turned into one of hardship, ultimately showing us just how little control we have over the world around us. Let us know what you think about what caused the year without summer in the comments below. If you enjoyed this dive into the past, don't forget to like and subscribe to join us for future investigations. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop seeking the truth. Thank you for watching.